Hey guys, welcome back. It is Friday, May 15th. It is the last day of new content. It is the last day that you are going to get assigned work. So this is kind of like this like last like week before the last week of school is kind of what this is. Just a reminder to you um, that stuff's still kind of going on next week. So don't completely stop yet. But today is the last day for new assignments. So real quick, let's run through those assignments, uh, what you're doing today. <clears throat> so for language arts, um, you are finishing up your grammar unit. You need to make sure you check your answers from your worksheet yesterday on commas and quotation marks. Hopefully you did it. Um, take some time and really check those answers. Fix what you need to fix. This is a big thing for a lot of us. We struggle with commas and quotation marks. So really take that time to make sure you guys have that one finished and correct. Um, then after you have checked your worksheet, you're going to go in and do the punctuation questions. It's five questions, just like with capitalization, run-ons, and fragments. It shouldn't take you very long, um, but you'll go in. Those are for a grade, so if you finish it, you view your score, and you didn't do very well, and you want to retake it, you can. You just go in and click edit your response, um, and you can change your score. Now, I won't be checking... Um, those grades until Saturday, so until tomorrow. Um, so that gives you all of today to kind of fix your answers if you need to without letting me know. For social studies, you notice there's no brain break. Um, <clears throat> that's because there's no social studies assignments. So when you finish your punctuation questions, the time that you would normally spend um, on a social studies, either notes or article, I want you to make sure you go back and check all of those assignments. So I'm going to go into my Echo real quick, and I'm going to show you in case you haven't logged into Echo at all. Okay, so I'm just going to look at my core one class here. So this is um, this is yesterday's checklist, not today's, uh, but it'll have something added at the bottom. I haven't made the new checklist yet. Um, so when you look at today's, it'll have one more thing here. But when you log into Echo, you should see this. Okay. Um, and it has all those assignments. This is a great way to go through and say, okay, do I have a grade for this? Do I have a grade for this? Do I have a grade for this? Um, and making sure you have those things done. If you have it done, but you don't see a grade, one of two things have happened. Either Ms. Hurlis and I just haven't checked them yet. So like for those essays, some of you um, have your essays done. We just haven't checked them yet. So uh, the essay, you may have it turned in, but not graded and that's okay as long as it has put turn in on on Google Classroom you're fine um, for other ones though so like these articles like the Taoism article the fireworks article those all have grades so if you go in and you don't have a grade for that then that means you haven't turned it in so you need to make sure you get to work and getting those things done please check this and make sure you guys have those assignments in use this social studies time to get that done Today is Friday, so Mr. Seal Scott has office hours from noon to one if you need to stop in and see him for something. It can even be just simple um, questions about different things. If you need that, he's there for you. Um, so I'm going to do something a little bit different here. I'm going to make my full screen here so you see my full face. <clears throat> okay. It is the last day of new content, which means this is the last time that I'm recording a video like this. So I want to take a minute. Um, and just tell you how, and I'm going to hopefully get through this without getting all con emotional, but I want to tell you how incredibly proud I am of all of you. Um, this has not been easy. <laughs> this has been tough for your teachers, for your parents, and especially for you guys. Um, I don't know if we all really kind of realize it yet, but this whole situation has been history making. Like, we're going to look back someday. I'm going to look back and you guys will look back and you're going to remember that time when you were in sixth grade and school closed and you had to learn from home. Um, and I hope you look back on this situation or this experience with not nearly as much negativity as we look at it now. It's really easy to look at this and be frustrated um, and kind of disappointed. And I hope that someday that this isn't feel like that. Um, but I really want you guys to know how incredibly proud I am of all of you. This hasn't been easy and you've worked so hard. Some of you who struggle even at school, you guys have been working really hard and that means a lot to me and to Ms. Hurlis and to all of your teachers um, because we can't do this alone. 
We can give you all of the information, but you guys are the one that have had to do it. You guys have had to set your schedules and make sure your work's being turned in and reach out to us in new ways. And that's hard. And I'm so incredibly proud of all of you. And I want to thank you for such a fun and unforgettable year. Um, I, when I came to VMware, I was unsure of what my year was going to look like and whether I was going to be happy with the move that I've made. Um, and you guys have made this year unforgettable and I appreciate each and every one of you. You guys will always be my kiddos. Um, I said from the first day that you guys become my kids, even when you move on to seventh grade. And so I want to tell you how proud I am of you and how thankful I am for you. And, um, even though this is not the way we wanted the year to end, um, I am so excited to see you guys move on and succeed in seventh grade and eighth grade and in high school and whatever you do afterwards. Um, I have so much faith in all of you that you guys are going to do amazing things and you guys are awesome. And I'm so, so proud of you. And thank you for such an amazing and unforgettable year. Trust me, this is something that none of us will ever forget. Um, so on that note, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you do whatever it is that you need to do today. Make sure you get those punctuation questions done. Make sure you get that missing work in. Um, we will keep you posted next week if we're going to have a Zoom. Um, one kind of like final Zoom will let you know that kind of stuff as we decide it. Um, but thanks, guys, for everything. Um, I love all of you, and I hope to see you again next year. Bye, guys.